Like I said, like I watch YouTube and stuff while I'm working on stuff because the stuff I'm working on, it's not heart surgery, you know? It's not, we're not doing a, a liver transplant here. I'm gonna just link a whole playlist of everything I watched today because I've been watching a lot of random shits. It's like the original Mean Girl before Mean Girls, except there's no, it's, we're, we're drawing, we're, we're, making videos, we're, we're editing vlogs, we're talking to a camera, we're just going on and on, and blah, 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 we, nobody's probably listening. We have a look Bitches. Hurry, faster. Oh my freaking God, YouTube, like, how much money does does Google have? How much do you have in liquid assets? This is crawling. Welcome. Ooh. Oh my God, look at my headband. It looks like baby rabbit ears or something. Riding the struggle bus. Yes, I ended the vlog earlier. And now I'm here. Oh God, you guys. So I've had migraine on and off since yesterday. That's why I Yesterday's vlog was just so choppy and weird and we just talked about Stanley fucking cops and fell down that rabbit hole, but whew, I gotta get in the shower later and wash my hair, but I just put it back like this. I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. This is on camera. We'll wash it later and do the curls and have my, my own hair, not in a wig. <laughs> yeah, I need to, I wanna do my own hair. Bless you. The wigs are fun, but I gotta, you know, clean them and stuff too and whatnot. So, yeah, today I got my vlog up. Um, last night, when I did wake up from my migraine a little bit, I did work on some of my art. Let me see. I mean, it's not really, like, you can't really tell, like, because they're little details. But I've just been filling in the coloring. And because I, I haven't really done too much in pictures on digital art with colors and things like that. And I'm still, like I said, my learning art or art has been like a journey for me, my art skills. And I feel like I'm always constantly upping them and stuff. And really when I started my art journey a couple of years ago, I started with like shading, line art, and now I'm kind of moving into color, right? And so I'm learning like, or working with like how to create color gradients and like you know the the color and then it's like this part's lighter this part's darker that like the gradient and then we're going to do the lighting and the shading so yeah i went in and did the like drains and stuff because remember i know it looks weird because they're like pink but it's like a sunset color so everything's like picking up you know everything turns pink you know, when we have the pink sunsets and stuff, it's like that, so. Yeah, I've been working on that, but it's coming along. I like how the sky's looking so far. That reminds me of one of our sunsets in a way. You know, right after it starts to go down and turn night, so yeah. Excuse me. Ugh, burp. I feel like the AI art has helped with that a lot. Like, me figuring out, like, the colors, and then I can just take the little dropper and take the colors from there and it, it and then looking at how the pictures how they diffuse the light you know from like you know onto like tile and stuff and being like okay that would that's the technique i would use to diffuse the light over the surface how do i apply that to my picture in my head you know so it's kind of interesting using the ai art to like learn how to you know do the lighting and stuff or how to just draw in general or develop my my skills as an artist because like i said when i put in the prompts and stuff i never get what's in my head like i'm like that's cool but that's not what i wanted mm. sorry i had dry mouth but yeah so, one of the things I've been watching, there's not been a whole lot on YouTube, really, is the Twilight Zone. Somebody has uploaded, like, 
a couple volumes and it's like an hour or two hours of just Twilight Zone episodes. So I'll link a couple of those or make a playlist or whatever and link that full below for you. Sometimes they're nice to just put on the background because you know I'll do the, like where I do the little picture. I think it's picture in picture where it's like off to the side while I'm drawing or working on stuff. And it's just nice to have those because they're easy to listen to while they're on in the background while you're working and stuff like like I said like I watch YouTube and stuff while I'm working on stuff because the stuff I'm working on it's not heart surgery you know it's not we're not doing a, a liver transplant here it's we're we're drawing we're we're making videos we're we're editing vlogs we're talking to a camera we're just going on and on and blah 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 when nobody is probably listening but my cat so yeah 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 that's why no one watches this because I'm kind of boring oh hi babies oh they're so cute there's Timmy there's Timmy yeah I just love to take down our Christmas tree too yeah, sometimes I sit here and I'm like, why do people watch my vlogs? Some people do. Like, I look at them like, oh, by the views, I can tell it was like my mom. But then there's other times where I'm like, who are these people watching? Oh, I know who that is. I can tell who that is by the city they're in. It's just interesting when you get so little views as well, you can tell who's watching your videos. And then also, too, I get these screen captured things or... Every week, they will put together a story for my YouTube studio, and they'll show, like, sometimes the different viewers. They're like, these are the people who watched you. And I'm like, oh, I recognize that profile. Oh. Oh, she, she's watching? I thought she hated me. <laughs> oh, I'm going to show you Phil up here. Yeah. This is interesting when people say like they want you out of their life, but then you can stay see that they're like still watching you. Yeah. There's Philip. Philip, he's a cute baby. Are you gonna really get up? Keeping cute. Come here, cute baby. Oh, it's a cute baby. Cute baby. Oh, it's a cute baby. Ah, oh, they love this box. They sell these boxes. Oh, cute, 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 cute. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get you a dynamite. These dynamites are filled with uh, catnip. Let's get you a dynamite. So, 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 so cute. Oh, so, so baby. Yes. Yeah, they make these boxes, and they put the, you know, the cardboards the cats like to scratch on? Well, we, we put it in there. One came like that, and they liked it so much, my mom started cutting them to put them in the boxes. Philip likes to get in the box and they'll sleep in it, but then like they like to get in and just <laughs> Yeah. Cute baby. Aw, I love how you do that. I love how he wraps his feet around like that. Sometimes he'll sleep holding his feet. It is so fucking cute. He's so cute. He's my baby. My fucking hair. I have a migraine. My migraine came back. I deal with this every time of this month, if you know what I'm saying. So, anyway, so my mom got me some caffeine. Yes, I'm addicted to this shit. I need to stop. One day we're gonna find out they're putting something in this, and I'm like, yeah, that, that's why. <laughs> my air freshener. So. I'm going to just link a whole playlist of everything I watched today because I've been watching a lot of random shit. So I'm going to have a, a playlist that's unlisted for today and it's going to be called What I Watched on YouTube today. And I'll have the date. So I'm going to link that for you guys below. More people, this profiling uh, with Pat Brown, I watch her sometimes. She, um, 
she did an open letter to Gypsy Rose about her mom and then on here she's uh, talking about, she's going to talk about Nick go to John. She thinks he's actually a sociopath, I think. Yeah, psychopath. And he does deserve to be in prison. If he's a psychopath or whatever, shouldn't he be in like a psychiatric facility so that he doesn't like manipulate other like inmates or whatever, you know, kind of type deal type moment type whatever. Yeah, I'm starting to sound like Amber again. Yeah, I'm going to leave that for you below. I actually got in the shower and washed my hair and I twisted it so it's drying. I've been working on my picture. I fell asleep on the couch with Philip for a little bit and listened to him purr because I had a headache. I listened to, I watched The Walking Snow, like someone walking in the snow with their dog at night while I had my migraines. Yeah, so I wanted comfort food for dinner, so I had Patrick get Thai food. He had it from the Thai place we ate at the beginning of Vlogmas, so. The one in Cat City, so yeah. Cathedral City, we call it Cat City for short. Yeah, and I got a Diet Coke. We had a scuffle outside earlier. We had a second orange cat show up. And he was like hissing on the wall, and then the other cat came out, the pumpkin. And he's hitting on the on our window and then running back into his little corner on the patio is just so many cats. Like so it's like Return of the Pumpkins, apparently. It's like the pumpkins didn't leave in October, they're still here apparently. So yeah. Phillips on the couch over there, do you see him? He's right there. So yeah. I'm gonna link in my list a movie. It's an old Lifetime movie. It's called Death of a Cheerleader. It's got Tori Spelling in it. And it's Tori Spelling gets murdered by a classmate who's, well, tired of... It's like the original Mean Girl before Mean Girls, except there's murder in this one. So when they're mean to the girl, she ends up freaking out on Tori Spelling and stabbing her. Which, this is based off a true story, and people call bullshit on this part of the story in real life, but... Her sister supposedly would drive the car around with a knife in the car because she liked to eat vegetables and prepare meals in the car. Bullshit, right? And they say that's why the knife was in the car and that's why she stabbed the girl. It was just a crime of opportunity. So she was a teenager. I think she got out when she was like 21 or something. And she changed her name and she's disappeared off the map, you know. So no one really knows what happened to her. But she served time and got out. The girl's dead still. Yeah, isn't that weird? It's it's just weird. I, I honestly, she brought that knife with her. Like, let's be real. Who, I've never, and have we yet to hear someone who's not a van lifer or lives in their vehicle in the past what amount of years carrying a random knife in their vehicle because they just prepare shit in their car? Like, unless you have a reason to be carrying that around, no one just cuts of vegetables like when you watch this you'll see the sister driving around and she's like eating a cucumber with a knife and driving and I'm like I don't know if that's exactly road safety like I think if you got pulled over you'd probably get ticketed for that lady yeah so yeah I'm gonna link that below you can clock the girl with the fucking knife in the car eating vegetables because they're not hurt I think the sister's supposed to be a vegetarian or something like it's just total bullshit total bullshit
Uh, thanks for being a member for 14 months, uh, Oceana. Never understood why the farms were deemed untouchable. Edge kids, they should stick to commentary and quit creating narratives. Mm -mm. Uh, agreed. The narrative shit, the fucking storytelling mm -hmm. that Aaliyah does. I told Sam, I was like, I think I know what that bitch does. She ain't no freelance. Welcome to the next day, okay, you guys. Let me pause that. Let me pause y'all, though. Yes. Yes, we're here. I'm editing. Yes. Oh, my hair. Actually, I curl. Well, you know, we twisted. I twisted it last night, but. I have to kind of refix it, but I'm here. I'm I'm here. I'm up. So yeah, I need to start editing this. I had the migraine on and off last night, so I've been up and down with the migraine. But I am working on my picture, which is good. Sorry, my nose is itchy. I got that visible hair dust thing, and I'm like, <laughs> and allergies have been bugging the fucking shit out of me. But we're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. I got a really fun message on Reddit. I had people were asking for suggestions, and so whenever anybody does that, I'm like, "Well, you can, you can, uh, you can go check out my channel." Well, someone goes and tells me on there, they go, "You know, it, it's kind of embarrassing. You're trying to be a big YouTuber, but yet you're over here on the Snark credit. That's not a good look." And I'm like, "What do you mean not a good look? Like, you mean like I'm trying to be friends? I'm trying to be like Alicia Marie, but yet I'm over on the Stark Reddit? I ain't trying to be no fucking Alicia Marie and assimilate and, and conform. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Like, I go where I have fun. I do what I need to do. I think it's fun going over to the Stark Reddit. And plus... The lifestyle community, guys, lacks community. Have you guys realized there is no place like over on Pretty Basic, which they had a thing come out today, but, um, you know, there's no place here for the lifestyle community, for people to have a community. There's no Discord. There's no... Everybody goes over to this person's comments and talks. Nothing. Nothing. We have the snark reddit, that's, and, and it's funny, you see, like, fans going over to the snark reddit of, like, Remy and stuff, and asking questions about, like, their merch and shit, and people are like, why are they on the snark reddit? And I'm like, you okay, Philip? I'm like, why, are, they're all, why are they on the snark reddit? And it's like, because, um, there's no community. So, I'm over there because there's... A sense of community for the lifestyle community. There's people to talk to. And I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. YouTube is a way to have fun. And also, too, I wanted to prove that, look, like, vlogging's not that hard. It doesn't have to be super edited and shit. So, I don't know. I think it's just funny when people tell me I should be embarrassed or um, this isn't a good look for me or what am I doing. I don't give a fuck. I'm a 36-year-old woman. I don't give a fuck. And the older you get, you're going to realize you don't give a fuck either. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to end this so I can start editing it and whatnot. We got to get it together and do something, you guys. We got to do something. I got a lot of work to do, too, on Desert Mermaid. So, yeah, as always, I'm sending lots of love to everybody. I'm not embarrassed. Proud of myself. Don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why you're over here on this channel, though. So, <laughs> as always, I'm sending lots of love to all you guys. I'm going to link that playlist of everything I watched for you. Yeah. Mm. Embarrassment. I'm not embarrassed. There must be something wrong with me. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys, and I hope you have fun doing whatever you're going to do until I see you in the next one. Love you. Mwah.